Why aren't your employees owners? I just read an article about an entrepreneur I knew who just sold her company after about 10 years. She made a bunch of money and thanked the friends and family investors who helped originally stake her and also got a nice return. Then she addressed her employees who were very happy for her. She thanked them, although none were shareholders, and said essentially, now on to new adventures for all of us. I happen to know that of the two dozen employees that were there, more than half had been there for more than five years, several for nearly 10. How much do you think they contributed to her success? And for that, they got themselves a nice pat on the head. How happy do you think they were? For me, there's something inherently wrong about that. Good and loyal employees are what underpin success. Yet many entrepreneurs miss that, and in so doing, may miss having an even better company and an even bigger future payday. Once you go beyond the early days of just trying to make your small business a reality, you actually lay the foundation for your company's culture and its future by bringing on new employees. Making your employees owners through different types of stock ownership or profit sharing may be the smartest thing you ever do. It gives employees a different and more positive perspective about their job and potentially provides a significant advantage for creating and optimizing value and hedging against business failure. Additionally, though, there are other benefits, especially the early going. With employee ownership as part of the overall compensation package, this should enable you to keep early salaries at or a little below market, helping better manage early cash flow. Should cash get tight, as it invariably will, employee owners will be far more willing to ease the burden by either temporarily deferring or even taking a temporary cut to help the company. But more important to you as the entrepreneur owner, you have partners who are in the game with you. They will help grow your company protect against your downside, and if and when that big payday comes, win right alongside you. Now here are some guidelines to help you structure an employee ownership program for your small business. Whatever kind of plan you set up, make sure all employees understand it. The most straightforward plan is a stock option plan, where the company issues options for employees to purchase stock at a certain price at a future date. Whether you set up a stock option plan, a phantom stock plan, or a profit sharing plan, all of these can be explained to you by your tax and legal folks. Be sure you understand the terms and can explain it or have someone explain it for you to employees so they get it. It does no good to have a great benefit that nobody thinks is important because they don't understand it. Set aside a specific percentage of ownership for employees. Regardless of the type of plan you select, a good rule of thumb used by many companies for employee ownership is a maximum of 15%, whether that be of outstanding stock or overall profit shared. That's only a rule of thumb. And decide if you want employees to be able to invest directly. Use your advisors to help you. Create vesting over time. Vesting means the period over which employees actually gain ownership of the stock options. With stock option grants, typical vesting is over a four or five year period. This provides incentive for people to stay. The longer they stay, the more they own. Use ownership as incentive. Granting stock options as part of incentive compensation for company bonuses or as part of a sales plan is a good way to compensate employees without spending actual cash. In most stock option or profit sharing plans, you have to be an employee of the company to either exercise the option or take part in the profit sharing. Typically with options, the employee has a period of time after they leave, usually 90 days, to exercise their options or their options are lost. With profit sharing, typically they get a pro rata share of the profits for the percentage of the profit sharing period they were employed. This also keeps stock ownership a closed community of employees only. Get some good outside tax and legal advice. This goes without saying. This video is not meant to be a tax or legal guide, but a general business one. Get good professional counsel before you set up anything. 
Making employees owners may be the single best decision you ever make. It helps create more loyal employees who have a stake in the future of the company, and that may help drive up value and provide fortification against future failure. The entrepreneur's Yoda knows these things. He's been there. May success be with you.